All right, guys, welcome back to episode number two of Hate Heart Approved. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about why I think the Apple Watch is Hate Heart Approved. Full disclaimer, the Apple Watch is not out yet. Tim Cook came out this week and said that the Apple Watch is slated to come out in April of 2015. And this video is being made at the end of January 2015, so I have not actually put my physical hands on it. But we do know a lot about the specs and how the Apple Watch is going to work through the Apple's demonstrations of the watch. So using that information, I'm going to be talking about a lot of the problems I foresee occurring with the Apple Watch and why I think the general consumer is going to be let down by the Apple Watch. So let's get right into it. I hate what Apple is doing with its version of the smartwatch. Steve Jobs definitely had no part in this project. The watch should have one overriding trait. It should be a watch that you want to wear. The most important trait of any watch is its style. With the invention of cell phones, wearing a watch became superfluous. But that doesn't mean that their watches have become unpopular. In fact, watches themselves have evolved faster than the technology that went into them. A watch stopped being a cold, cutting, utilitarian tool and became something much more meaningful. Watches became a part of our personality, a sign not only of who we are, but what we stand for. Whether that was simple and elegant, complex and luxurious, or fit and active. Beyond a regular watch, a smartwatch needs to have substance. It needs to be able to do just a few things well. Smartwatches should be able to communicate our daily tasks, notify us when others are trying to communicate with us, and tell the time. And that's really it. Nothing more. As far as features go, only one feature on the smartwatch must be outstanding, and that's battery life. Other than that, every other feature of a smartwatch is simply icing on the cake and should never be added at the expense of battery life or an increase in price. Especially when we're talking about fitness tracking, where almost every study has shown us that the technology inside those smartwatches is pretty much useless at tracking our fitness. My problem with the Apple Watch is that I think it's attempting to combine all of our complexities and desires into a uniform product and thereby trying to encompass our personality with all of our quirks and nuances into a few accessories and different screen sizes. While Apple's strategy of uniformity may have worked with the iPhone, where it was first to market with a truly revolutionary product, it seems to be doomed to compete in a world where they're releasing dubious technology and other competitors like Android Wear and crowdfunding favorite Pebble have captured significant market shares. Even more significant than those captured market shares though is what those competitors have to offer the consumer. Wear is not locked down to just one manufacturer like Apple is. And thus, it includes the classic watchmakers like Fossil and Michael Kors to make a watch carrying Android Wear. On the flip side, Pebble is not locked down to just one OS, as it can be used on either iOS or Android. Apple can't offer consumers the ability to choose from any variety, and in the end, that seems to be the Apple Watch's fundamental drawback. Because when we're talking about specifically watches, remember they're designed and capture our personality. However, that is far from the only fundamental flaw that Apple Watch has. Technology, unlike regular watches, has to be upgraded annually in order to keep its functionality. For example, if you currently own a smartphone, you have to upgrade that smartphone every two to three years or else it pretty much becomes obsolete. I think the best smartwatch that anyone can get right now is the Moto 360. Yes, it is locked down to just Android devices. But the Moto 360 might just be so good that it will make you want to switch from iOS to Android and is on the market for just $250. The Moto 360 and Android Wear also get two essential components right. It can tell the time fairly easily and is able to communicate and assist with our daily tasks. I will say though that the notification system on Android Wear is still very, very wonky. After covering all that, I don't hate everything about the Apple Watch. I still think it can be a really good product. I just think that good product is a generation or two away, so I would tell the average consumer to hold off from buying it. Now with all that being said, I think the Apple Watch is actually set up to succeed really well with one segment of the market, and that is women, because there are about zero smartwatches specifically tailored towards women currently on the market. So I think the Apple Watch can actually crush that segment of the market. Alright guys, so that concludes this episode. I really hope you liked it. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. 
Alright guys, it's been real. Until next time.